What up YouTube, how's everyone today? Today, you can see we are working on the 1997 Mustang GT. Um, we're just gonna go over some things. You guys can see, it does have the original spark plugs, 1997. We are gonna switch these out. I did pull a plug. We do have original plugs in here, so we're gonna do a full tune up on this, guys. Uh, when you are buying a used car, obviously a Mustang, Always just check to see because this is maintenance stuff that you're going to do after you buy it. If they have if the previous owner has not done this. But always look at the spark plug wires. Uh, spark plug. Uh, spark plugs you're not going to be able to see. But if the spark plug wires are old, guaranteed the spark plugs are bad too. Uh, check your fluids. Just make sure to see how clean they are, dirty they are. Check your brake. Check your actual engine oil. Check your coolant. And check your transmission just to make sure the levels are correct and see how dirty they are. Uh, transmission is supposed to be a light brown, reddish color. Coolant, obviously, is coolant is supposed to be a green unless you have different, there's different coolant, orange. So you just got to make sure you check with your manufacturer which coolant you're supposed to have with your uh, car. Uh, oil, super simple. Usually they're 530. Um, you, I use all motors, uh, OEM. Mo, mo, uh, motor oil filter and oil from Ford so it's Motorcraft um, and that just do like maintenance stuff that you know really cheap stuff that you could do is check your air filter if it's dirty replace it if you have a reusable one clean it and let it dry and put it back on um, besides doing that I might car runs great as is but it, I'll give it a little more pep but always check your PVC valve, obviously on older cars, they could have a good chance of going out. And just check just small things, obviously your battery life, you know, check it that and stuff like that. Uh, check for any leaks for the, from the trans to the motor to the rear end, just to make sure that you know you don't want to be running fluids down low and then you have an issue. Uh, a good time to uh, get in here and while you're doing this clean things up uh, another thing you should check is your belt just to see if it has any wear wear to it um, I'm pretty sure this is a, a newer belt definitely it's not a OEM one so uh, I, I didn't replace this so I don't know if the previous or the dealership that I bought it from replaced it um, yeah guys that's pretty much it. I'm just going to make a quick video talking about the uh, SL95 and just maintenance stuff that you have to do, especially when you're new to the uh, Mustang community or you're getting into cars in general. This is stuff you do want to check. You want to check your belts. Like you said, all your fluids, make sure they're, they're either clean or two level, both. So that way you're not going to have any issues. Uh, just remember, guys, if your trans oil is dirty, I wouldn't recommend changing it because sometimes when you do change it, it could actually mess with your trans and actually blow your trans up. So if it looks dirty, do not. I would not recommend doing it just because I've seen people change it. Let's say because you're supposed to do it, you know, you gotta read your man manual. But sometimes they're like thirty, forty, fifty thousand miles. You gotta cha change them, and if they haven't changed them, then I would not recommend doing it because like. You have a good chance of pulling the trans, so just keep the old trans in. But always check your fluid. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just going to make a quick video just talking about the SL95 platform. You know, I told you guys going to bring you two videos a week plus. So I'm just going to do a little. Uh, check your brakes. Obviously, check your tires. Uh, another thing you would want to check is your wear pattern on your tires. Um, maybe your camber is off, you're wearing the tire uneven, and you're going to go through tires a lot faster. Um, obviously, check your shocks. Obviously, these are pretty new shocks. I did it th three, four years ago I did them. Um, another easy thing that you guys could check is your light bulbs. Just simple as light bulbs, turn signals, headlights, uh, interior. Just to make sure that, you know, everything's good and safe. So that way when you go on road trips or anything like that, we are preparing for a road trip in two weeks. Going to Wisconsin for the Ford Fall Fest. Uh, so we will be bringing videos real soon of doing this uh, paint correction on it. And then we are painting the brake helper. So we are going to make a video of doing that. 
uh, a perfect time to look at your brake pads and see where they're at before you trip so yeah guys thanks for watching like and subscribe and i will see you guys soon